Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the shop. So we're going to do some science. Um, I recently had to torque a fastener and couldn't get to it without using a universal joint. And so I just had this like nagging thought in the back of my mind, does using a universal joint impact the amount of torque that actually gets applied to the fastener. So even though your torque wrench goes off at say 100 foot pounds, are you actually getting that on the fastener? And now intellectually, I think it should be the same. You know, you put 100 foot pounds of torque in and it should end up in 100 foot pounds out. But I, I don't really know. So we're going to, uh, we're going to test this out. So I've got an AC Delco half inch torqueometer, and we're going to use a torque wrench and try this at various angles uh, using a half inch universal adapter. We're gonna test this style. We're also gonna test this style to see if there's any difference. And then I'd actually like to test uh, this style too the flex head socket to see if that makes any difference. Now I don't have a half inch one of these, so we're gonna have to modify our testing procedure. So uh, we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, so for level setting, my torque wrench is set to 100 foot pounds and it's reading 97. Um, so we are off just a little bit. All right, let's get the testing underway. Ninety-six six. Ninety-six six. Eighty-eight point six. That dropped significantly. Eighty-seven three. Eighty-eight five. 77.9. 76.6. 74.8. Fifty four point six. Fifty six one. Sixty two one. Okay, well, I think we've demonstrated that that does indeed make a difference. Right, switch over to the impact style of swivel. All right, baseline at ninety. Ninety four point nine, ninety eight point two, that's ninety five point four, eighty five point six, eighty five point seven. 85.1. Well, so this is only one test, but it certainly does look like universal adapters make a pretty big difference in the amount of torque applied to a fastener. So if you are working on something that where torque is important, 
then you're probably going to want to calculate for that that discrepancy. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell.